I found that there's really only three fundamental questions that people are trying to answer about their finances. And it's illustrated by a telephone call I received from my son not too long ago. And he said, Dad, he said, you know, as a teacher, my wife and I are, are teachers and we'll never earn a lot of money as teachers. And I just wonder, will I ever have enough? And that's a pretty legitimate question. And it's uh, a question that all of us would like to know the answer to. And that is, number one, will I ever have enough and enough being defined as enough to retire or to meet emergencies or something such as that. The second question really is, is how much is enough? Can I define what the finish lines are? And basically I need to know what is my lifestyle? What is my debt load? What are my children's needs? What are my long-term goals? And how much is enough? Because if I know how much is enough, then the second question that he was asking me of will I ever have enough is easier to answer. And then the third question that people are always going to ask is if I have enough, if I know how much is enough, and if I have enough, will it continue to be enough? Which is a very legitimate question, especially today as life spans are longer and longer. I'm 65 and I probably have a life expectancy at this point of 20 or 25 years. And so even though I'm nearing what would be a retirement age, the big question is, yes, I have enough today, but will it continue to be enough? And the only way you can answer these questions is to determine, first of all, what are your finish lines? And I found that the biggest determinant of the answer to the question of how much is enough, will I ever have enough, and will it continue to be enough, is what lifestyle have I chosen? And what you need to be careful of is that you haven't chose a, chosen a lifestyle that will cause your life to outlive your resources. So it's possible, no matter what age you are, to know well, how much is enough, will you'll ever get there, and then planning for your retirement, will it continue to be enough? Those are answerable questions, and you need to begin asking those questions and answering them now, no matter what age you are.